Good morning everybody. It is Thursday morning the 21st of January and we are going to pause for a wee while this morning and read Proverbs chapter 16 together. So let's hear God's word. We can make our own plans but the Lord gives the right answer. People may be pure in their own eyes but the Lord examines their motives. Commit your actions to the Lord and your plans will succeed. The Lord has made everything for his own purpose, even the wicked for the day of disaster. The Lord detests the proud, but they surely will be punished. Unfailing love and faithfulness uh, make atonement for sin. By fearing the Lord, people avoid evil. When people's lives please the Lord, even their enemies are at peace with them. Better to have little with godliness than be rich and dishonest. We can make our plans, but the Lord determines our steps. The king speaks with divine wisdom. He must never judge unfairly. The Lord demands accurate scales and balances. He sets the standards for fairness. A king detests wrongdoing, but his rule is built on justice. The king is pleased with words from righteous lips. He loves those who speak honestly. The anger of the king is a deadly threat. The wise will try to appease it. When the king smiles, there is life. His favour refreshes like spring rain. How much better to get wisdom than gold and good judgment than silver. The path of the virtuous leads away from evil. Whoever follows that path is safe. Pride goes before destruction and haughtiness before a fall. Better to live humbly with the poor than to share plunder with the proud. Those who listen to instruction will prosper. Those who trust in the Lord will be joyful. The wise are known for their understanding and pleasant words are persuasive. Discretion is a life-giving fountain to those who possess it. But discipline is wasted on fools. From a wise mind comes wise speech. The words of the wise are persuasive. Kind words are like honey. Sweet to the soul and healthy for the body. There is a path before each person that seems right, but it ends in death. It is good for workers to have an appetite, an empty stomach drives them on. Scoundrels create trouble, their words are a destructive place. A troublemaker plants seeds of strife, gossip separates the best of friends. Violent people mislead their companions, leading them down a harmful path. With narrow eyes, people plot evil. With a smirk, they plan their mischief. Grey hair is a crown of glory. It is gained by living a godly life. Better to be patient than powerful. Better to have self-control than to conquer a city. You may throw a dice, but the Lord determines how they fall. Amen. And that was Proverbs chapter 16. Solomon again throwing so much at us and again so much about wisdom and actually comparing wisdom against wealth. You know, what would you rather have? Would you rather have all the possessions in the world or would you rather be wise? But again, it's, it's looking at what that wisdom means for Solomon. Um, it means having that relationship with God. It means walking along the right path um, means having faith uh, and Solomon says time and time again through so much that he, that he writes who would want wealth over a right relationship with God you know at the very start of Proverbs, 6, Proverbs 16 he says we can make our own plans but the Lord gives the right answer people may be pure in their own eyes but the Lord examines their motives. It just shows you that we, we can't judge ourselves. Sure we can't. We can't um, give the right standards because all of our standards are flawed. The only standards that are right are God's standards. So it's not about pleasing the people who are around us. It's not about doing what we think they would want us to do. But rather it's doing what we believe God wants us to do. Having our eyes fixed on him. That's the right path to take. But again, Solomon different times warns about 
what we do. Um, it talks about how we are um, and be destructive. Um, he says the, the troublemaker plants seeds of strife, gossip separates the best of friends. You know, he, he's again warning us, be wise about what you say. Be careful because your words are powerful and your words will cause or can cause trouble. So be, think about it before you say it. Uh, and again, there's a very famous phrase in that about pride coming before a fall. Uh, so much of what Solomon writes comes through into our day-to-day -day lives, doesn't it? As little pearls of wisdom, as we would say. But it is it's about thinking about what we're doing, about why we're doing it, before we do it. Um, you know, we often say that phrase, look before you leap. And that's all based around these sort of writings where we, we think about what we're doing and why we're doing it and have the right reason for it before doing something. We just don't do it for the sake of it. We don't do it for ourselves, but doing it for God's glory. There's a thought for today. That in everything that you do, um, just to pause about things before you do it, to, to commit them to God in prayer and to ask God to guide each of us um, in our actions today that they would be motivated for the right reasons and that be motivated in a way that would bring his love um, and show his compassion for us. So let's pray about that this morning, just as we start this day. Let's pray together. Father, again, thank you for another day. Thank you for um, what you've already provided for us. Thank you that we had beds to sleep in last night. Um, we had roofs over our heads uh, and this morning we have food to eat. Lord, you are so good to us because we remember so many people around the world who don't have what you have provided for us today. Those who are struggling and, and we do think about um, those people today and ask that you be near to them. Lord, help us to be considerate in all that we do today. Help us before we do things to think about our actions, uh, to commit them to you in prayer to ask you to help us, but also to think, Lord, when we're doing them, but why we're doing something. Are we doing it simply because we want gratification for ourselves? Or are we doing it because we want to point towards you and we want people to see you? Lord, help us in all that we do. Will it be our day-to-day -day job which we're going about? Will it be something else that we're doing? Help us just to have that right attitude and through that right attitude to be able to bring your love into every situation that we face today. Thank you, Father, for it's in Christ's name that we pray. Amen. Thanks, folks, for watching this morning. Trust that you have a um, great day today and that you um, take it easy and um, are careful in, in all that you're out and about to today because we're still in the middle of this pandemic, so please continue to look after yourselves and be careful. But thanks for watching. Take care. God bless. See you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.